In October of 2022, we spent three days in Athens, Greece at the Wyndham Grand Athens. In this video, we will provide an overview of getting to the hotel via the metro, using the metro to sightsee, local places to eat within walking distance of the hotel, and lastly, a room tour with costs. Once you locate the train station at the airport, you will hop on the blue line heading into the city center. At Syntagma Square, you will change to the red line and go three stops. From there, it is a short three minute walk to the Wyndham Grand Athens. Being from South Carolina, we have no public transit system, but still found the Metro super easy to use. We simply hopped back on the red line and were able to use the maps and diagrams within the Metro to figure out everywhere we needed to go. For example, the Acropolis was just a few stops down the red line from our hotel. Just steps out the front door, you will find some great food options. The Bread Factory had great coffee, breakfast, snack, and sweet treats, while Alexander the Great had amazing gyros and Greek salads. Lastly, Moroni was a cute restaurant that had wonderful musakas and lamb shanks. With so many hotel options, you may be wondering why we chose to stay at the Wyndham in the first place. First, let me say this is not a paid review, but ultimately we stayed here because we are Wyndham Rewards members. And using our status, we were able to get this suite for 30,000 points plus 12 euros a night in taxes. We had been saving our points for a trip like this to help offset the large expense of a hotel room. As you saw at the beginning of this section, this room usually goes for about 300 euros a night. So using the 90,000 Wyndham points to get this amazing suite with a partial Acropolis view was completely worth it. There is no perfect vacation or accommodation, so we would like to point out a few things that we noticed. The pool area at the hotel is very small, and while we were there, it was very busy, so we did not get to use this amenity. Next, one morning we opted to have breakfast at the rooftop restaurant at the hotel and found this to be very overpriced at 26 euros a person, and also the food on the buffet was not very good. So definitely do yourself a favor, skip this and head across the street to the bread factory instead. If you're planning a trip to Athens or maybe you're just curious what things cost, please head over to our channel and check out our video, Three Days in Athens, How Much Did It Cost? In that video, we go in depth in how much the metro, sightseeing and food cost us for a single person over three days. The last piece of advice we would like to share before we end this video is if you are looking for more information about Greece, definitely check out the YouTube channel Greece Explained. The host Sebastian is from Greece and does a wonderful job explaining in depth everything you need to know about visiting this great country. Thanks so much for watching and happy travels!